Hey everyone, in this problem we have three different parts all asking us to find the flux of a magnetic field through a certain loop. Since all three parts are basically the same, we're always going to be using the same basic formula, which states that the magnetic field, or the magnetic flux through a loop, is equal to B, the magnitude of the magnetic field, multiplied by A, the surface area of the plane of the loop, multiplied by the cosine of theta, where theta is the angle between the normal to the plane of the loop and the direction of the magnetic field. Part A of the problem asks specifically about the case where, let me find my cursor here, where the field is perpendicular to the plane of the loop. So it's basically referring to the case where theta is equal to zero. There is no angle. And since the cosine of zero is equal to one, that means that for the case of part A, the flux is just equal to the magnitude of the magnetic field multiplied by the surface area. So the magnetic flux is equal to B times A. So let's just plug in the values given to us in the problem. So the magnitude of the field, according to the problem, is 5.00 times 10 to the power of negative 5 Teslas. And then the surface area of the loop is given to us as 20.0 squared centimeters. In order to keep our units consistent, we're going to have to convert this from centimeters squared to meters squared. So I'm going to apply a chain link conversion because there are, um, because in one meter, there are 100 centimeters. And this gets squared because we're working with squared units. And if we put this into a calculator, then we find that the flux is about 1.00 times 10 to the power of negative 7 tesla meters squared. And so that is the answer to part A of the problem. Parts B and C are basically the same, except we're given non-zero values for theta. So part B asks about where the field makes a 30 degree angle with the normal to the loop. So that means that for this part of the problem, we're going to use the same formula by sub b equals b a cos theta. We can save ourselves a little bit of work, though, by simply recycling our answer to part a. Because we've already established in part a that 1 times 10 to the negative 7 is just the answer for b times a. So all we're doing here is going to take that same answer and then multiply it by the cosine of our new angles. So I'm just going to say 1.00 times 10 to the power of negative 7 tesla meters squared. I'm just going to take the answer to part A and then just multiply it by the cosine of 30 degrees. So the cosine of 30 degrees. So put that into your calculator and make sure that your calculator is in degrees mode and not radians or gradients mode so that it can determine the uh, so that it can interpret the angle properly. And if you do that, then we find a flux of 8.66 times 10 to the power of negative 8 tesla meters squared. And that is the answer to part B. Finally, for part C, we're told that the angle that the field makes with the normal to the loop is 90 degrees. So we can again use the same process. The flux phi b is equal to b a times the cosine of theta. And this is the same thing as taking our previous answer to part a. 1 times 10 to the negative 7 tesla meter squared. And then multiplying it by the cosine of 90 degrees. Now, you might, if, you, if you're wise, you might have noticed something. That if you take the cosine of 90 degrees, the cosine of 90 degrees is always going to be zero. So if this term goes to zero, the entire 
the entire term here goes to zero. And if you put that into your calculator, then it'll confirm it. So the magnetic flux through the loop in part C is just going to be zero. Zero tesla meters squared. There's going to be no flux whatsoever. And that is the answer to the final part of this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing as it'll help me out in making more videos like this. And if you have a question, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you out as best as I can. If you have a request for a future video or you would just like to hang out, leave my Discord server and my Twitch page are both linked in the description. So check those out if you'd like. But that's all for now, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.